kind of this this took place in 2015 i believe so this was like in the early days of the woke stuff yeah and eh, sort of yeah you're right no it was it's the early yeah. days like re- but i think it was you, quiet before you, like, it, it was, was oh yeah no you can trace it, was, it back to the 70s it was the, yeah it was the and Trump, before then it goes into marxism yeah. and stuff like that which is way way order it was like order. Like it was it was, it was 2015 was when it really started to take off in the media yeah. probably around the election and uh, there was a fucking uh they were talking on Tim Pool how kind of Glee was like the first uh, cultural thing to promote wokeness, sort of. Oh, yeah. I've never um, watched it. So. Neither have I. Thank God. I don't plan to. No. Um, I'm going to have to be but, very negative or a very, um, um, what's the word? Uh, ignorant on that show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> me too. But we'll yeah. talk about We'll talk about Glee. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is, a, this is an ad, uh, a Beachbody ad. Uh, I guess a protein world ad. I guess maybe it's not Beachbody. It's just pro- protein world. Are you Beachbody? Although, does Beachbody own that? Probably. It's I don't probably know. a brand of It's brand. probably, yeah, I don't know. Beachbody's it's a, a fitness ad yeah. promoting, uh, I guess, this uh, Protein World product. Uh, says, are you Beachbody ready? And it shows this woman, this very beautiful woman, who is very clearly, uh, well, in shape. she's in very good shape, mm-hmm. incredible shape. Now, what's uh, interesting about this story is, oh, okay, click an ad, I think. Yeah. What's interesting about this story is that this woman, this, this is not, like, this is a real woman. Like, there's no editing here. And I understand, you know, you do have uh, instances uh, where people edit uh, oh, yeah. models. Yeah. You know, they make them look a little differently. They maybe sure. widen their hips a little bit, tighten their waist, Hat-ass. you know, up their, up their boobs a little bit. But this is a this is a raw this is a real person and i think that's that's sort of the message they were trying to give in this ad it's like hey you can look like this girl yeah. maybe not everybody you know you're not gonna look exactly like her right you face stuff you're, you're not never gonna be the same but in terms of uh having like a 10 out of 10 body <laughs> you can do that <laughs> oh so tell us what you really think 10 out of 10 eh? well look, look at that Wow, that's a that's a good looking woman. No, it's definitely a good looking woman. But we've had these conversations before. I I like a yeah. wide range, right? So like, yeah, yeah that's you're, obviously your very you're very much your freak. type. Yeah, this. That's one, why this one's gonna be yeah. interesting. This conversation is gonna be interesting yeah. because I'm on the fence on a couple different aspects of this okay. whole this whole thing. We're yeah, gonna have to well, debate on it. Yeah, we'll debate. Yeah, we'll we'll get into a little fist to cuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll just read uh, this article here uh, or some of the stuff they, they post. Uh, when an advert appeared on the London Underground in 2015 asking people whether they were beach body ready, it caused uproar. The ad, designed to promote a Protein World slimming product, showed a very slim model in a bright yellow bikini alongside the controversial question. It promoted allegations of body shaming and encouraging women to starve themselves from activists, organizations working against eating disorders, and members of the public. And you, you see some uh, some Twitter posts of people who were uh, either saw the who I don't know if these people that posting these images did the vandalism right. or if they just saw it and kind of was like, oh, I though? like that. So I'm gonna, isn't that funny though? They they they're saying it's promoting. Uh, women starving themselves they'd rather promote the opposite yeah like, gorging yeah it's like yeah. There, there can't be a happy medium ever it's no. got to be like one extreme or the no. other oh you're either and it's ironic because it's not like this woman is starving herself like no, you can tell good. you can tell like you can tell when a person is starving oh, yeah. herself. they kind of start to look like a skeleton she does not no maybe to some she's, people she does but she looks like a fitness model she looks like um, yeah so if you see she's got a low body model, fat percentage yeah, when you see uh, and she's in shape in competition you know. They're yeah. ripped, right? So yeah. they look gross, I think, anyway. Because, like, you see... I don't like a ripped woman. Right, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, when they're in the fitness mode, when they're on stage. But afterward, that's what they look like. Because yeah. now they've, they've got back some of their the, the uh, right. body water that, they've, that they were, like, mm. uh, getting down. And they've got a little bit of body fat on them now instead of being down to, like, 8% right, or something. Right, it's kind of like, uh, right. you know, you see... Uh, um, an MMA fighter cutting uh, yeah. to to meet a certain weight, you know, they'll look very different two weeks later or two weeks before because yeah, a lot of it's days, de- two de- days later dehydration. Two days later, when yeah. they're in the in the ring, they've gained it all back. Yeah, right. So uh, you know, people, so uh, yeah, you know, people uh, posting it's... these uh, vandalism things. Um, yeah. uh, so uh, protesters flocked to London's Hyde Park. Women wore their swimsuits on the underground to show what a real beach body looks like. <laughs> And a petition to ban the ad received over seventy thousand signatures. Now that's just fucking crazy yeah, to me. It's, it's, that's a like what a here. real beach body. I mean, of course, any body on the beach is a beach body. Okay, if you want to get technical about it, you, all right. But you know, not all of them look good. You know what that sounds like to me? It received seventy thousand signatures. Yeah. That it didn't get 
700,000 other signatures where other people were going, fuck this, I'm not signing yeah, this. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't sign that. I'd be like, get out of here. Why am I going to sign It that? is hard to get people to, to do things for a thing. So it is a significant I mean. number. Like, so what? But 70,000 70, signatures? So but what? it's still, it just shows how, how kind of ridiculous like, people are. A lot of those people, people were, were probably coerced into signing. They oh, felt probably. Bad. They were just like, oh, okay. Sure. Or just a manipulated, yeah, manipulative or whatever, uh, wording. Or just, or like, like a, like a, um, uh, you know, uh, a typical college leftist feminist kind of woman yeah. uh, going to the sort of uh, uh, swarm of simping men that are around her, groveling, trying to you know, you know, trying to get her to do anything. You know, you know that kind yeah, of yeah, that yeah. that guy that like that you know, women can get certain types of guys in sure. their orbit who would yep. fucking do anything for them no matter what. Yeah, uh, those kind of guys are the kind of guys that would sign that. Probably, you know, but, like, oh hey, sign this. Okay. Most people don't take a hard line on anything, mm. realistically. Like, most people sit Actually, in the middle. Actually, that's true. I was going to say, like, I take hard lines on a lot of things, but I feel like I'm not like most people. No, Yeah, maybe. But even me, yeah. like, I, I find, I don't think I'm like most people on certain things, but I don't really take a hard line on a lot of things. I'm just like, oh, there hey. Are I'm, that, there are things to take hard lines like, on. So, for stuff like this, I, I really don't care. Like, I'm like, yeah. I care because they're they're shaming a woman for Well, I don't like being, that. I don't like that. But I don't like know, conversely the other like, way around. Oh, I yeah. No, and I'm, I'm not necessarily encouraging the other way around. Right. Uh, I might participate sometimes, but but there's nothing wrong you know, with saying something is not healthy and something right. is healthy. So to so right. to look and at her and that's ultimately her, what they're doing. Yeah, because this is you know they're encouraging people to be healthy in the advertisement. It's a product yeah. built around fitness and being healthy, <laughs> and they're they're angry about it. Funny how um, you you wouldn't see the same. Uh, um, people up at arms for an advertisement for like a, a Pfizer medication for something. You know what I mean? Like you wouldn't see them going, oh, you know, they're gonna take that that heart medication down because there's a lot of people dying of whatever or getting this this side effect or whatever. Right? No, see, it's only when it when Myocardia it suits your oh, yeah. well, only when it suits your agenda, right? That you that you actually care about something like that. Yeah. Because how well, a lot of this have... is pseudo moralistic uh, grandstanding. Right. You know, like I am better than you because I have these moral principles that you do not adhere to, and I'm going to talk down to you uh, because. You know, I'm better than you. That, that's that's the attitude that a lot of these people who chose, uh, hold. Who chose to say which side is better and which isn't? Well, like, I usually get like, to so decide imagine, which side's better. Yeah. yeah, that's usually my so role imagine in things. so imagine if a bunch of people stood up on the other side of it and said the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. But typically, those people won't because they're like I, they don't the the but kind the, of people the, that but the kind of people that would that would make a big stink about something like this or or like. Mm -hmm. graffiti that thing or, or get people to sign whatever are the type of people that most people don't want to engage with because they know that they're the type of people that they have too much time on their hands they're willing to take they're the fight. way more invested right. in it than you will ever you be, be like, Look, and it's not worth it i fucking care yeah, it's absolutely i'm just not gonna go to it. work you crazy person go you off your on thing. your yeah you fucking go play in the streets yeah <laughs> go eat Whatever you want to eat, do whatever the fuck uh, you yeah. want. Leave me the fuck alone. Because yeah, that that gets into the you know uh, a, a wider conversation here. Like, um, so a, a point that I would make is it's kind of like drugs. Um, I would never like okay if you're a person in my life who I care about and I see a problem developing, I will step in and say something and maybe try to help. Right, but if you're if your Friday nights are just you like to sit down and smoke some meth i'm not i wouldn't be like yeah don't do that i might say maybe maybe you shouldn't do that what but if i like, wanted eh, to come whatever. to a meth lab in your basement we well that's that. a little different now you're okay. entering my space okay. no i just want to doing something i just want to set the, yeah the but like if you want to ingest something yeah, yeah i don't really care yeah you know i might say oh maybe you shouldn't be doing that mm. maybe something could happen but it's like oh whatever it's your choice you can do that right it's only when a problem arises that i'd be like eh, you know what you're there's an issue here you know like maybe, maybe your teeth are rotting out of your head because you're doing meth on friday yes no that just, can't be it that it, can't be it that's, not, <laughs> that's because <laughs> that I, doesn't make any sense that's just because i don't brush yeah exactly there we go <laughs> yeah yeah no i i, I know you but I know but that's it's a point of right like i don't really care what you choose to do with with your body, I don't care if you choose to ingest cyanide for crying out loud. Like I, I really don't care if that that's your right to do that if you want to do that. Um, that's it's, morbid, man. Well, I do believe that <laughs> you're people, gonna die. <laughs> I do believe that people have the right to, uh, to ultimately end their lives if if that is a 
something that they i don't think that they have any obligation to be here sure um i agree you know, obviously wouldn't necessarily you know <laughs> i wouldn't push somebody off the edge of the bridge you'd be like no do it do it you know but at the same time it's like you you have a right you sure. know, you know you, you, no one should force you to do anything including body autonomy the, man yeah exactly and that's be what this is about right want, so if you want to sit down and you want to gorge yourself that's fine you do you right i don't really care but don't force me don't try to like tell me that i have to find you attractive mm -hmm. you know don't try to tell me that i have to like support your lifestyle mm -hmm. uh or that i have to engage in it as well or change the science behind it to say that that's actually a healthy lifestyle right there, that's you know, not scientifically sort of, fact yeah yeah it's like we know that's not factual so like we know that there are a number of things uh attributed yeah. to to obesity you know yeah but you see what uh what, what what ended up happening here with this uh with this advertisement is uh but now uh three years on a on uh this is i guess written by a british person so the slang it feels weird to me but yeah, three, three years, years on, on a plus size fashion brand has reclaimed the beach body ready slogan and aesthetic to launch its own campaign encouraging women to embrace their bodies we're beach body ready and it's a bunch of obese the one on the right might be morbidly obese. I don't know what the lines are, but I, I think they're more... You typically, when you think about... I, I found this uh, when I thought about morbid obesity. I thought of like the my 400-pound life kind of people. But really, it's it's a lot smaller than, than, than I thought. Still big, mm -hmm. but morbid obesity is might be that woman on the right, right? So the... <laughs> You, you know, know they're all obese for sure. It's the push that gets me. It's you the, know, it's the force it down your throat that gets me, right? Yeah. If you put the ad out, if you if you put the billboard up and you didn't really say anything or whatever, I'd be like, yeah. I'd look at it and be like, ah, okay. I laugh or whatever. And I'd be like, all right, somebody. I don't know what their point is, what they're trying to sell, yeah. but it's funny, and I would yeah. I'd probably laugh. But but you know what their yeah. point is, and you know what they're trying to sell. They're trying to sell an ideology. They're trying to get you away from some idea. An ideology against, you know, personal accountability. Or being in shape uh, even. Know, or be like healthy. Healthy even. That's being even, healthy. Yeah, you're right. Because these women aren't healthy. These no, women, they are not healthy. Well, I mean, people okay. are like, oh, you're healthy. From the, like, no, from the picture, healthy. looks pretty small to me. From the picture, yeah, I think you're right that they look like they're probably obese. But like a woman who's... 10 20 pounds overweight oh yeah it doesn't necessarily mean she's unhealthy at all no and she could be even and she's probably to not like gonna 50, look bad 50 pounds overweight and she might not be unhealthy at all really but when you start getting over a certain amount there's there's all kinds of science behind the idea that you are unhealthy. it just causes so many problems yeah, you're causing right? other for you, you, issues there you know there's stress issues on your joints and everything sure. for one that will develop but then it's like your it's, it's uh your body is circulating more harder. stuff through more space harder, yeah and right? it doesn't and it is has uh, the reduced uh, capacity to work harder, right? So it's, it, it needs to work harder, yeah. but it's less capable of doing it. I don't think anybody can right? argue the science behind the no, idea. No, but they of, try. And then that's what... Uh, okay, so these are the fringe people trying to argue the science behind it. I understand the sentiment of saying that uh, I'm going to be comfortable in my skin and that kind of thing. I understand that sentiment. I, I get behind that. That's that the, the body positivity uh, movement is okay to me but it's like it's hyper, like everything's hyper. It's like the woke movement was right. okay to me, but they pushed it so far that you go, I, this isn't palatable anymore. Mm -hmm. The same with this. It's like if somebody says, look, I, I don't want to live at the gym. Uh, I'm yeah. maybe 20 pounds over, overweight, whatever, the, whatever yeah. the moniker you're using, if you're using BMI or whatever the hell you're using. But you feel like you're overweight, right. but you're okay with that. I'm good. Right. 